A rough day off the County Down coast, there's a force 10 gale blowing and a ship's in trouble. And this is typical of the urgent shore procedure by the Coast Guard that will alert the lifeboat crew and a drill that has occupied a major part of Mickey Linehan's life for the past 40 years and why he's been nominated as one of Britain's six unsung heroes. Mickey won his place in the Newcastle lifeboat when he was only 19 although before that he'd already taken part in several rescues. In 1950 he became second cox and the salt stained logbook tells of 73 callouts in which 52 lives were saved. Then in 1961 he became first cox. There were more perilous odds at sea and 21 people rescued. My father was a lifeboat member and uh, remember I'm a grandfather. So we're sort of a run from the family. So he's in your blood? Yeah. What were lifeboats like? say 30, 40 years ago? Well, it's, uh, 30 or 40 years ago, we had uh, a motor lifeboat then, like the first motor lifeboat down in Newcastle, in St. Helen, of course. That's the one that Patrick Murphy was coxing on. He won the gold medal in that boat that boat. Was it any, any more dangerous then uh, than it is now? You had no, uh, especially on the St. Helen, you had no communication with shore at all, it's all done by Morse. Craft more, more stable than all, it's operating. You have more power and then you have the wireless well, what is it now that made you join the lifeboat crew? Oh, it's just the cause. It's just the cause. Uh, father, he's always done it, and his father's always done it. And uh, in our family, it just seems to be the right thing to do, is to join the lifeboat. What about having your dad as, as, as a coxswain? I mean, you must have a lot of confidence. You oh, all the confidence on him, but he can get cross at times. <laughs> <laughs> what, so he can. what do you mean he gets cross? What does uh, he do? Well, whenever, especially if you're in an exercise, uh, you know, and you're, you're just in the routine, you know, practices, and you do something wrong, well, you're not telling you not to do it again. He, he can be tough then, can he? Oh, he can be tough, but he, you know, you can put all your trust in him. Oh, he's great. Takes everything easy, nothing. No panic or nothing with him, just takes everything in the stride. Is he a guy that you can trust when you're going out into some yeah, really sure dirty I, weather? I would trust him any time at all and go along with him. He's uh, very quiet and easy going, you know, he takes a lot of fluster. So that way he sort of instills confidence in everybody else, you know. You really uh, trust your, your, your life to him, don't you? Well, if you get a call four o'clock in the morning, you're not going to go out with a man you don't have confidence in, you know. The coxswain uh, is the choice of the crew themselves. But it is leadership, primarily. And, of course, the knowledge of the sea and the area, seamanship, it's just a general leadership matter. There are all volunteers, and I, I've heard, I've been told that across the water they are having problems um, recruiting young people for the, this great tradition. Do you have any problems here, Robin? No, in fact, I think uh, we have a large number of volunteers coming forward. Uh, this, of course, has been helped greatly uh, in the past by, well, I think Lord Roden, the last uh, secretary, did in fact do a tremendous amount to see that the youth of the area right. were coming forward and were welcomed with the others. And there's been no problem with this at all. I think the families almost vie with each other to be members of the crew. There's no shortage of volunteers here at all. These are all my crew members, all young men. Here. And there's many more with them to get on the crew. What is the attraction, do you think? Oh, I don't know. It's just, uh, I couldn't explain it. <laughs> it's just, uh, they're all both men at heart. No, you don't get peppered, but it's just scrapes. It's going to see pulling up alongside a boat and taking somebody off a boat and that. They're good to see their faces. They're looking at their faces. But, uh, it's very hard, really, to get over, I think, to the general public uh, how much we do owe the lifeboat crew and the shore members as well. They put in a tremendous amount of work, and I think Michael would agree that it's not only a merit to him, it is, in fact, an award to everyone here. And it's, uh, I think, very well. Basically, he's received no recognition over the years he's been in the lifeboat. And that's just the only way he's going to get no more, you know, I mean, this right here, we only do run of the mill jobs, you know, none of this long home sickness, you know, so you don't get your name in the papers that often, so it's 
the only way it's going to get her. How on nature, fella? Mickey, you're due to go to London, I think it's on November 11th, to receive this award, and you'll be stepping into the limelight and be applauded by celebrities. Would you rather be here at the helm of your ship? I certainly would, yes. <laughs> I certainly would be aboard the boat here. I'm not putting there's a good one on the next Let's hope that's it.